Elliot Maputikanyeza was a South African professional footballer who played primarily as a striker and I say was because as of making this video in January 2019 he announced his retirement from professional football at the age of 36. Hello and welcome to Red Live. Maputikanyeza was born on the 17th of June 1982 in KwaZulu Natal. His professional senior career started off playing for Maritzburg City in 2001. Then in 2002, he joined Golden Arrows making 114 appearances and has been credited with 43 goals during that spell. And with such goal scoring prowess comes recognition for bigger clubs and that is exactly what happened when he made a move to Kaiser Chiefs in 2007. Being on the books of Kaiser Chiefs is accredited with 26 appearances and 8 goals. And then in 2008, he joined IX Cape Town where he made 24 appearances and scored 16 goals. And yet again, such goal scoring prowess brings attention from big clubs and that is when Mamilodi Sundowns came knocking looking for his signature. In 2009 he joined Mamilodi Sundowns and is credited with 56 appearances and 10 goals. In 2012 he made a move to Super Sports United where he is accredited with 15 appearances and 3 goals. And then a year later in 2013 he made a move back to AX Cape Town and this time around he made 12 appearances scoring 7 goals. And later on in 2013 he joined Mpumalanga Black Aces. He was at Mpumalanga Black Aces until 2015 and during that time he made 23 appearances and scored 4 goals. Then in 2015 he made a move to Golden Arrow. While at Golden Arrows he only made 5 appearances and scored just 1 goal. And in 2016 around March he was without a club. However he wasn't without a club for too long. In the same year of 2016 around July he joined Amazon. International career. Maputi Kanyeza has represented South Africa Bafana Bafana on 10 different occasions and has zero goals for the national team. So what happened to Maputi Kanyeza? We're gonna rewind time all the way back to 2013 when Maputi Kanyeza was still playing for IX Cape Town. The Premier Soccer League's disciplinary committee found the player guilty of swearing and spitting at a match official during IX Cape Town's match against Sundowns on April the 2nd. The statement on the PSL's website read, Kanyeza is suspended from all football activity under the auspices of the league for a period of 12 months. The PSL was definitely trying to make a statement and Mabuti Kanyeza was in the firing line. The PSL prosecutor said we welcome the sentence which is commensurated with the seriousness of the offences with which the player was charged with. I hope that the findings and the sentence will send a strong message to all football players. Football players should be role models to their supporters, especially when matches are televised internationally. Mabuti Kanyeza did appeal the sentence and the sentence was reduced to just a fine. Now fast forwarding to more recent time, there were reports that the Amazulu striker Maputi Kanyeza has retired at the age of 36. Now Kanyeza definitely retires as one of the PSL's most deadly strikers. He retires as the PSL's second all-time top scorer with 110 goals to his name in the PSL. At number one is the retired Siabonga Nomvete who retired with 121 goals in the PSL to his name. So Kanyeza has retired 11 goals shy of equaling that record. So as I mentioned he announced his retirement from Amazulu at the beginning of 2019 January and he took up an assistant coaching job at Maritzburg United. However, things haven't gone well at Maritzburg United and both the head coach and assistant coach Maputi Kanyeza have confirmed that they are departing from Maritzburg United. Kanyeza gave the following statement. There were not any issues but I felt from my side that with new blood coming in and trying to implement new ideas to the boys for the benefit of the team it was best for me to move on. It is not about me but about the team. It was better to let the new technical team take over. The club wanted to keep me but I think in football sometimes the team is more important than individuals. Now after the news of his first coaching stint not going so well, Amazulu team manager has said that Kanyeza was welcome to return to the club anytime. We love him, we know his quality, we will accept him with open arms if he decides to come back. He is a very important individual, if he wants to come back there is no problem, said Amazulu's manager. So as of making this video there are no reports whether or not Maputi Kanyeza will come out of retirement and return to Amazulu or perhaps he might just go back to Amazulu in a coaching role. However, if he does return to football, this will definitely go down as one of those shortest retirements in the game of football. We definitely wish Maputi Kanyeza all the best and hopefully his desires to go into coaching also go well too. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.